Yo, what's up guys, this is your boy Cooler man 100 x Welcome to the Red Sea. How you guys doing? Before we jump into the video, make sure you visit my website to get all the ebooks that's available as well. Link will be in the description below for my gaming website that you can get the ebooks that's available. Also, if you want to stay up to date with all my social media links, live stream, clothing, art, all the stuff that I do, link will be in the description below. Hit the flow click. So we're going to be going over another formation out of the tight doubles. A play is going to be called Flood. You can find this play out of the Jets offensive playbook as well. So... What you want to do with this play is that you can actually run this stock. Well, the only thing that I would do is just block the running back. When you run this stock play is that you got the flood going to the left with a streak and an out route, and you got a little bit of a circle route here with the tight end and a drag going right underneath. So we're going to run this play as is, so you can see here that drag and that circle route will be right there for you as well. So let's look at some variation that you can do to make this play a little bit more better for you guys. So the first thing I would like to do is put square on the out route here. Cool thing I would like to do is put him on the out run and put that square on a 10 yard dig. So now it splits up. So now what I want to do is put X on a cross here. So I want to put the running back on a block here. So you got this variation. You got a flood concept going to the right, but that cross will probably be your hitter or the drag. So the cross and the drag will probably be your hitter, but the drag will probably be your best bet to go to if it's open, but if the cross is not there. Cool thing about this play is that when you run it here, here, here so here so you run it that out route will probably be your open guy as well so triangle there throw right to the sideline there as well as you can see another variation that you can do too as well is that you can actually motion harwin out so you can actually put him on a post route here you can leave that on that out route that you have for him take that x you want to put him on a post or a trail i would say not a post but a post here so it'll be set up just like this so now you want to block the running back again. You can put him here as well. So that out route will probably be your best bet or that drag underneath or the post. So we're probably going to go to this out route if he's hit it. But if not, that cross will be right there for Kelsey available too as well. Another variation that you can go about is to that in this formation, you can actually motion him to the right. So now you got the out route turned into a little bit of a post route here. So now you want to put X and a post to his, um, put him in a post to as well. So now you got a flood concept going to that side. So now you can put square on the out route too. Got a flood concept going to that right. So now you want to block the running back again. But the cool thing about it, you don't have to block him. You can put him in a wheel route or a flat route. Totally comfortable for you because wheel routes are very deadly this year. So as you can see here, it actually opens up the drag cross right across the middle of the field there as well. Another variation that you might like is that with Rice, you can actually motion him further out. So what you want to do here is put Rice in a post. You want to put X in a drag in case he didn't get bumped. And you want to put a square on the post right to the middle of the field. And you want to put R1 in a world route or a flat route. Totally up to you. I like the flat route. Flat route would be cool to suck down the linebacker that's available for you. So as you see here, that drag route now open, he's open right across the middle of the field as you can see there for him. <laughs> All right, another variation that you might like is you want a motion scantling over here. So now you got a flood concept again. So you want to put him and post, you want to put X and another post here. So now you got a three set. So the cool thing about here that you want to put X here. You want to put a circle on a smart route there. You want to put a triangle on a smart route again. So it'll be set up just like this. So they'll dig out at the 10. So the next thing you want to do here is put square in a zig route and you want to put R1 on a block. <laughs> so now you got a flood concept going to that side. So if you see, it would be open right there across the middle of the field. Very easy and handy. Um, ain't too much you can really run in flood, but one last one here is you want to put him on a rail rod. You want to put uh, X on a post. 
and you want to put a circle on a post. Well, no, you don't want to want a post. You want to put one across. So now you got that flood concept. So the next thing you want to do is put a square and a drag, and you want to put a triangle and a zig. This will be the last variation here. And your first guy you want to look at is the either the wheel route or the zig route. So if that zig route is open, yeah, you can hit it. But if that wheel route is open, if he breaks free with a nice touch pass, as so I can get it, bam, right there across the middle of the field. Now, if you were paying attention, you'll see the other guy that was open across the middle of the field. I'm going to show you an instant replay before I threw that rail route. As you can see there, he didn't pick him up. Just like I said, right across the middle of the field. So that's pretty much it for the flood play. I hope you enjoy. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.